account I'm locked out of. Okay, this phone was working perfectly fine, connected to Wi-Fi. Here we go again. All these uploads is to establish a pattern that someone is illegally controlling my devices. Keeping me for each corner I take from doing things every direction, holding me up year after year. They, they're forcing me to have to, I'm trying to get all the funds away from S in my one card because I'm forced into being defrauded out of funds year after year. I'm trying to get all my funds to go on this other account where if they commit crimes, I can go to a bank. I can go to a bank and have access to my funds or go to a bank and dispute charges because S in my one is robbing me of that. There's no place that you can centralize place to go. So they, they're deliberately, I'm being controlled and they don't want me remove, getting, getting those funds transferred off SMI one card. They want to repeatedly uh, be control me with this financial abuse. So they're making problems for me getting these funds transferred over. I need to calm down. So now it's loading because I'm recording. Okay, it went to the wrong place after I stopped recording. And then it now it's back. It did it again. I just need to calm down. Then it's went ahead and let me allow me to get to the right side when I started recording again. Okay, it says right here. I don't know if they have another con. I'm trying to get in this other account I'm locked out of with Attorney General. If you were able to match your, if we were able to match your email address to your account, you will receive an email with a link to reset your password. Now that I finally, it said connection interrupted until I started recording, then it immediately changed. It's showing the passwords match. Reset password. Reset password. I have to record it because it'll glitch. And when they know I'm recording, they correct issues. This is for the child support division. Ah, okay. Let's see. I'll try to log in. Okay. Let's see what happens. Bam. They let me in since I'm recording. So I'm trying to chat with a representative. I was logged in. Okay. Now it's saying, please log into your account. I tried to chat and I don't, this is, these are the holdups. I was already logged in and now I have to log in again. Um, information, please log into your online account, but I was already logged into it. So I'm 57 in Q. I've now already done this and they hung up in my face. Well, they disconnected. And when I called online, they disconnected it. I uploaded the videos. I don't know if I deleted them because I'm trying to show these online experiences are even controlled. So it went from 52 to nine and the time only went down one minute. I think it's been over 10 minutes and it started out at 10 minutes and it went down one minute after 10 minutes. It said, we'll be with you in 10 minutes. It's been over 10 minutes. It just went up. But I don't know why my device is blurry. I'm recording because this is a pattern. Shows two in queue. Okay, I'm on the phone with the representative, uh, on chatting with the representative. A lot of times they hang up like they did when I couldn't get monetized on YouTube. Or disconnect so let's see what happens so now they're directing me to do a direct deposit form they're not allowing me to do it like i have to um okay i'm at a hotel i'll go ahead and do this okay what they're trying to do is force me to have to go the hard route and do the direct deposit pdf do it that way and bypass me telling someone what the um information is they're making it hard for me I find it highly um, hard to believe that I just can't tell them the new direct deposit information or complete this information online, logs into my account, but they're rolling me to do this um, 
be inconvenienced and have to uh, print out the PDF and then submit it back to them. Everything just disappeared. So I'm looking for the chat. I'm looking for the PDF. All of it's missing. All the windows are missing. The chat's missing. The window for the PDF. All the links have disappeared. Starting back over from scratch. And prank calls right now. Okay, I found the forms on my own. Right here. Push this. Download. I've already done this. And I didn't get the download. I mean, what kind of horror movie would this be for a psycho to be able to control, abuse this much power? So, uh, so let's try to get on the hotel's device. Let's try it that way. Ma'am, changing over Gov. this site can't be reached on the hotel's computer. On the hotel's computer. You'd have to see it to believe it. Let's try it this way. Okay. This is not what I'm looking for. Try it again. Okay, it comes up right here. Attorneygeneral.gov. attorneygeneral.gov but that's not attorneygeneral.gov there's countless hours wasted okay attorneygeneral.gov okay since I'm recording okay it's Pennsylvania the site looks different than what I just saw okay so I put this in trying to Another way. So all these attorneys are coming up. Just answer. This is not the child support division. Since when do you put child support division in and can't find it? You have to go through all the scrolling. Let's see how what this is. Okay, this is where I need to be. Now, after all of that insanity, the direct deposit forms are missing. Request for warrant cancellation, child support review, question and cover. I just won in this. Request for non-disclosure. They're supposed to be um, there's just people going back and forth monitoring my experience. So they're supposed to be um, a request for direct deposit that's missing on the hotel's computer. You'd have to see it to believe it. After all the other games, the forms I thought altering websites was criminal. Printer right there. So let's go. Trying to look with this device to see how the website is supposed to be. My device is glitching and don't want me to have access. Now that I'm recording, it's giving me the back button. Okay, it went away. It changed its mind. The same page right here. They haven't had time time to adjust it. Forms, direct the payment cancellation, Texas Child Support Disbursement Unit direct deposit authorization form, request for warrant cancellation, but the computer outside has been uh, altered and this is missing. And you'd have to prove to people that you're experiencing this year after year. Railroading and violating your life, making everything hard for you. 
Someone wants to be able to control my car with SMI1 so I can repeatedly get defrauded out of funds and can't, when they um, shut my car down on a whim, be forced to take that. So they are breaking all kinds of laws to keep me in torment and financial abuse. You see direct payment certification? Let's go, let's go check it out. Let's check. Texas Child Support Disbursement Unit Direct Deposit Authorization. Forms. But somehow they're missing. So let's try it the hard way. Let's log in. So I'm logged in right now. So let's see if I can find the forms. I'm being monitored a while experiencing this. Stalking's a felony charge. Okay, it's allowing me to do it now. I'm recording. But I already went to other site and the forms were available. So to cover for crimes, they had to make the forms available now to prove that I'm mentally ill. Glitches, we're going back to the site. That's the time. As you can see, I'm not logged in. I'm not logging in. The same thing on the other computer. There's no login. My name's not up there. But there's the payment, direct payment certification. That's why my device was holding up this, trying to alter. All this is on line without me logging in, but they trying to keep me from changing it to, to direct deposit. They hid the forms knowing you'd never believe my story. And then when they got incriminated and I logged in, then that was a way as an alibi on why I didn't see the forms because I'm mentally ill. But you can see clearly here, I'm not logged in. No profile. Uh, let's see. I'm not logged in. But the farms were here. Why did it take me to log in? I need to make sure I log out on that computer. You have to see it to believe it. So another strange thing, I was at a hotel desperate. I had just got out of put out of jail at um, put out got out of jail on the false charges in Hillsboro. And then the police were be trying to be funny and did not get my debit card and I told them to. So I went to a hotel desperate and I said, Can I use the computer? So while I was using the computer, a printer, uh, uh something came out on the printer. It said no, and then it had multiple different money signs. This is something that I can't report. It was terrifying because I'm here alone losing, using a the computer. Then a print, a print job comes out that I didn't print saying no. And then money signs. These are the things I can't talk about, but you just witnessed gaslighting and mind games and criminal acts just now. Altering web pages is criminal. So I'm getting multiple different prank calls now. I'm going to answer it in, um, Recorded with my other device.